Well, let's try on here at the manor. So, I get a lot of questions repeated from apprentices about advice. You know, guys just finishing their courses, going out on site, guys just starting everything. So, the apprentices don't know what to uh, do, what to expect, how to behave or whatever. So, yeah, I've got a few pointers. Obviously, this is just my opinion. But I've been a boss. I've been a foreman. I've been on the trail. I've been around blokes for, like, you know, on the building site for nearly 40 years. So, I know what's wanted and what's needed. Well, I think I do. So, let's get on with it. So, the first thing is, for you young lads... You've got to have the right attitude, okay? Your boss doesn't want to see you with your phone. So my top tip about phones, if you've got a car, you can leave your phone in and then look at it at a tea break or in a bag. Or if you've got none of that and you're scared of it getting nicked, stick it in the skyrocket and don't touch it. You don't need your phone. Don't touch it until break, tea break, sorry. Be on time. If you start work at eight, be there at 10 to. Be there a little bit early. You're showing the people that you're keen. If you're one of these ones that starts at 7.30 and you roll up at 7.33 every day, people don't like that, I'm telling you now. If you've got a form in there, it'll get his back up. And once they get their back up, you know, they'll, they'll start looking at the negative things on you rather than the positive. So be on time. Be a little bit early. You're going you're gonna to need to be a sponge. You've got to soak the information up. There's, got, there's a lot to learn. It doesn't need to be stressful learning it, but you need to listen to what they say. Don't do this in that one and out that one or just... Sort of like be away with a fairy who's not paying attention. Because people will soon, the people that are teaching or showing you will soon work you out. And I think, he's not that keen. And why should someone put effort into you if, if you ain't going to put effort into the listening side of things? So, you know, it's also good manners, isn't it? I would imagine most of you have been brought up with manners. Manners are important. Have the right stuff. Have the right clothes. So if it's going to be damp or cold, have the relevant stuff. Gloves. You're going to be one of these that never got a pair of gloves? No, sir. Get yourself your gloves and all your stuff you need. You know, your beanie, your hard hat, your high vis, whatever you need. Make sure you've got it. Uh... So when you've been taught stuff, don't, you know, if, if someone says do this, do that, you're going to get a lot of that. You know, don't don't make out it's too much trouble. Nothing's too much trouble. You want that job. There's another lad that would have your job. So it doesn't matter what they say, do it. Try and have a bit of a smile on your face, at least occasionally. You know, uh, be wanting to work at weekends. Show that you want extra work to help you with your learning. That's I think is important, you know. And if you're governing, if you're working for a small firm that says, right, we've got to stay tonight, we've got to get this done, and you might have to stay for an hour, no whinging, do it. Days off. God. I have this with Nussa. Stop wanting too many days off. I need to go to this. I need to go to that. And it's a fucking festival. You don't fucking need to go to a festival. If you want to go to a festival, go to a festival at the weekend. And certainly don't come in under the influence. Come in sharp-minded. You're going to do your partying. Don't do your partying the night before work, which a lot of lads do. 
and I ain't gonna change. Oh, I used to, but I used to get up at five and not go to work with that hangover. Have a bit of pep in your step, as they say, you know. Be a little bit excited about the fact you've got a job and you wanna do it. If you do all those things, all those things I've just said there, your foreman or your governor or what, whoever's in charge of it is going to see something that, that you've got a little bit about you. And, and that's like a phrase you may or may not have heard of, but he's got something about him. He's got a little bit about him. He's up for it. Yeah, he's all right. He just needs to come on the trail, in it. You know, he's a good lad. He's a keeper. Be willing. Be able. Try not to be too feeble. I've just worked recently with someone too feeble. You can't be feeble. And there's girls out there that hey, they're not going to be feeble. I don't mean you've got to be bloody Superman. It's not that. It's just don't be feeble. You know, we've all got to lift heavy stuff and it's not nice sometimes, but do your best. Put a bit of effort into it. I was watching a, a lad sweeping the other day. You know, it was feeble. If you don't like hard work, do not be in the building game, especially in what we do, Brick Lane. It's hard work. It's a tough job. It's very tough in the winter when the weather's bad. You know, it takes a special type of person to be able to do this. And if you can do all these through things and come through it and learn the trade and do it well, you're going to have a good life. It's going to be a hard life, but it'll be a good one. Dramas. Your governor don't want to hear all about your dramas. You know. My girlfriend snapped a toenail. So what? You know what I mean? They don't want to hear any... Oh, I need to go early to sort this out. Oh, she's packed me in and I, all that shit. No drama, son. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, and um, if you're with other young ones at work, when we're at work, we all like banter. We all love the crack. It's all part of the building game. It's like embedded in the building site mentality, isn't it? And so it should be. It's a good part of our job. But when you're with the other young ones, you might be left to do something with no, 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 no one sort of qualified, if you like, anywhere near you. It just might be something simple to do and then you just turn it into a fuck about and things don't get done. Things like that is not gonna go down well. You're gonna need your tools. I've done a video on TikTok. I think it might even be on uh, YouTube too about what tools you need. You don't need loads of tools, but there's, there's a video I put on there that I think is a good toolkit for an apprentice. So you're gonna need them. And it's just a case of, if you've got a college course, you turn up every, t every week or whenever you're meant to. No silly excuses. Turn up on time at work. Turn up at time on college. Do your time. And I'm sure if you have got that little bit of something about you and you're, you know, you can do a bit of manual work and you, this, I'm talking to you girls too. There's plenty of you that are. A lot of the girls are mentally tougher than blokes anyway. You know, you're going to be okay. So some of that sounds like a little bit negative. But those, that, some of those things I've said there, I'll just shut the book. it's important. Because I know how blokes feel. I know how blokes think. You know, people are going to put time and effort into you. It's going to be, you know, there's going to be some form of financial cost to them as well. They don't want to be wasting their money and they certainly don't want to be wasting their valuable time. We don't have a lot of spare time. So an apprentice, the whole reason you're there is to be the next bunch coming through to keep the industry going. We need you. 
But not only that, you are also there to help your governor earn more money, which is obviously hard at the beginning, but you'll get there. The more you do it, the better you'll get. It's like anything, it's practice, isn't it? But put the effort in. And I'm sure you guys and girls will become good bricklayers. So there's a few points there. Have a mull, mull it over. And do with that information what you will. But if you take some of those points, I promise you they will help. Okay? Good. Right. So, pug up.